We have reports that police has invited Joe Ajero, the president of Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, for interrogation on charges related to alleged criminal conspiracy, terrorism, financing, treasonable felony, subversion and cybercrime. Mr. Benson, the NLC head of information and public affairs, disclosed this in a statement made available to newsmen on Monday in Abuja. Now, the national growth... Um, LS Opa said Ajero was summoned via a letter dated August 19 and signed by ACP Adamu Mauzu on behalf of the Commissioner of Police Intelligence. The letter, according to Opa, stated that Ajero's name was mentioned in an ongoing investigation connected to the alleged criminal offenses. Accordingly, the letter directed Ajero to report at the IRT complex abattoir by Guzape Junction on Tuesday, August 20. That's today at 10. Threatening that a warrant of arrest will be issued against him if he failed to report. Now, he also said a personal message was also sent to Ajero by one SP Moshud, stating that we were at the labor house to submit this letter of invitation, but the place was locked, sir. He stated that NLC found the development curious because... There were workers in the office till 6 p.m., so an Nigeria was not addressed by his official title of president of the Nigeria Labour Congress. Clearly, the last has not been heard about the raid on the headquarters of the Nigeria Labour Congress. In his words, preceding the raid, Congress had um, advised government to dialogue with the organizers of the protest, even as Congress had clearly stated it was not part of the protest. Congress criticized the police for the high casualty rate during the protest, and then he added that Congress in its NEC communi communique after the raid expressed outrage at the behavior of the police and demanded for an apology from both the police and the government. At its world press conference last Thursday, Congress had raised an alarm that should anything happen the leader to the leadership of the Congress or any of its members, the police should be held accountable. This is like after the letter was sent, it's more like they're saying, oh, this is probably the reason they're trying to indict us, even though we had stated earlier that we're not part of the protest. Dandy, how do you see this? <laughs> oh, this is now, what are you clapping for now? <laughs> the NLC you know, or... I'm trying to clap for both the NLC and then the presidency. Okay. <laughs> why, do, why do I say so? Chu Ajiru is now being alleged to have terrorism mm. issues and all that. However, mm. I will not speak for Joe Ajero. Probably, if he's not guilty, he should just go and answer yes. his... Uh, this. But one thing that came to my mind is, <laughs> Joe Ajero, what have you really committed? In this case, could it be because you agitated for... You, you, you were at the forefront, even if we didn't even see much of him, when he was agitating for many more weeks. You know, I was, I, was ask, I was asking myself, how come this man looks as if he's quiet? Unlike the previous incident. Now, before then, he was also beaten up at uh, Imo State and all that. And now, criminal cases. And these things are just coming. If Joe Ajeru is not guilty of this crime, then it means some government forces may also have devised means to weaken labor agitation. And why did I clap? It has now set between labor and the government. You, except the labor, except labor movement have now realized that Joe Ajero is guilty. But if Joe Ajero can't go and clear himself, or everything is even is just that it has been seen that Joe Ajero isn't guilty of this. Oh my God! I will clap again because the war has been not even a war. Should I say the, the battle line has been drawn? So you think this is like an indictment, like they they are trying to indict uh, Joe Ajero or like a retaliation towards something? You think there's an underneath story behind it? I won't even say it's an indictment because Joe Ajero himself have not even come out to say I'm not guilty. Yes. 
He had not also gone to answer the police to present his head boldly to say, I'm not guilty. Mm. So, he, but if he, he had done that... Today at yeah, he, yes, he has to. It's a, yes. it's a police invitation. Yes. Then, but if he's going, he should also guide himself because by the time you enter there, they will bring one other thing and other. So, he has lawyers. He can go with his lawyers. He even have the other union the leaders. He can go. He's not an ordinary person. But you're tracing this down to the fight against the um, refusal and the increase of minimum wage. No, I'm saying... Could this be... But they are channeling it to the protest now. Yes, could this be what? Could it be that uh, probably Joe Ajero agitated for minimum wage increase? Oh. Why, why would you say could it be? Because uh, he uh, actually did. It's of course, because the police didn't even say that was the reason. They said terrorism, uh, sponsoring yes, criminal uh, these activities criminal and activities and all that. And then Labour is saying, could it be because we made a press statement... Mm. Um, tell, uh, advising the government to go and dialogue with the protesters. If Labour did not, Labour also came to this association themselves from the protest. Yes, they did. So if they joined, what would you say? Are they also calling for another um, strike? Is there anything Labour is agitating? That's why I said, if Joe Ajeru is not guilty, Joe Ajeru have not come up to say anything. So we don't, I, I mean, also preempt Joe's, Joe Ajeru's reaction. So if he is not guilty, um, it means the labor will want, to, labor will want to fight back. Well, of course, they must have a reason to fight back. And this should also serve as a deterrent to labor. Why do I say so? Workers cry. People are being humiliated in their various working places. Private sectors, uh, government sectors, and all that. They, people cry. Workers cry and nobody hears. And people will even agitate in the states. Labour will come back and tell, tell us if they are not with the government without tangible reasons. But that was not the re was that the case recently? That's why I said it's, this is this should serve as the term, whatever it is. People have been going to, through humiliation in their working place as if there is no labour. And then it has now happened to the president of labour union. That's why I said it should serve as a deterrent. So when you think the, mini, the, 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 the person you thank as the smallest worker in the rural area doesn't matter, is coming to the ban at the head of our affair. So now he should face it. But when we look at it, the, uh, Labour has already given a statement concerning this, even though we're waiting for him to go uh, meet the police at 10 a.m. today. It's not yet 10 a.m. So we're waiting for that, and definitely tomorrow we're going to get to take that story. But Labour has given a statement, and they're already telling us that they are suspecting that it could be because of the protest, because of their statement, when they talk down on the activities, the violence, especially the activities of the police now. So they are saying, okay, because we talked against them and now they are coming to lay accusations on us or on the president now, not the whole labor. <laughs> very recently, the Nigerian police um, present themselves to be very professional. If you, let's be realistic. If he How? gets there, they will show him evidence. Do you understand? Now it's left for him to say, I'm not, uh, it's not me. This is not me. But they must present the Nigerian police. They won't tell, they, will don't, they don't come out to say what they are just saying. They, ha they will show you evidence. Now it's left with you to say, it's me or it's not me. So if Joe Adjeru should just go there and say, I'm a level leader, what are you saying? He, he, has, he won't even return. He, will be, he may be locked up. <laughs> so he has to guide himself. That this issue, you know, most times when people, Joe Ajero has even tried than the previous um, labor union leaders and all that. So if Joe Ajero, at the time he fought, he stood out, he made statements, he addressed issues before he could just take decision. Unlike the other labor leader that came to River State while the workers were crying, and then all of a sudden midnight he entered and came out and said, "We have settled with the government," and he ran away. And people were expecting that. During this last um, protest, this last right, level is as usual. They they the, 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 the last strike, rather. The, People were expecting that that was going to happen. With that, the minimum wage. Good, that's why I said I was even surprised. He was so calm. He wasn't even the one talking more. It was the TUC, the man at the TUC um, issue. That was even the person that was talking. So it could be that they've been throwing passes at him. Oh, oh. It may also be he could have seen that either he's guilty of something or not. But he has not also come to up to say the police have also not proven him guilty. They, oh, sorry, the court. The police have alleged it's left for the court to, 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 to say whether he's guilty or not. 
So until that matter comes out, but whatever it is, labor should know that the welfare of their members, they should take it serious. You shouldn't even go and be dining and whining with the government when it's good with you, you think it's good with all workers. This should serve as deterrent to all of them. All right.